Let me know, guys. Hit some yeah, buttons. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Hit the buttons if you want to hear the reason on why Wolf picked Hagger. Go for it. Go yeah, for it. okay. Go for it. So, as you guys may or may not know, the public transportation system in Mexico is not ideal. It's sometimes akin to a ride in a roller coaster where you don't have any seatbelt on. Okay. So, this story begins... Um, with my friend Lingas. Lingas is one of the best Wesker players in all of the world. I can sign that anywhere. He plays Wesker, Ryu, Deadpool. Like, his team doesn't make sense, but his gameplay makes sense. Like, he beats the sense into you. So, he used to be the best where I lived, and to go play with him, I had to go to his house, like, two or three hours away from my house, because Guadalajara is a big city, and I had to, like, go take a bus, go play so after school i go i take my stuff i had my xbox uh, my controller a laptop and all my school books and i'm just going to his house and we play but his house like you don't see the sunlight go in when you're playing at his room so we're playing and i'm like oh shit what time is it and we see and it's like 2 a.m so i'm like damn how am i gonna get back home and my friend's like, hey, why don't you take the midnight bus? And it's like the last bus that drives around that town. And there were like no taxis. Uber didn't even exist there. Um, so I'm like, yeah, this is pretty much my only option. And if Lingas is telling me, yeah, just take it. Like, and he said it was such a was such a trustworthy. Yeah, bus. like he he's he has his own bakery. That's what he does for working. So I had no reason to distrust him. So I get on the bus, and I sit in the back of the bus. Because it was empty, so I'm like, yeah, I could probably take a nap. Everything's going to be okay. And as soon as I thought that, I started analyzing the bus just in case. On the left side, there were some cholos, but there were good cholos. And on the right side, there were some old ladies that had like been working all day, and they were just going home with all the shopping. And after that, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a good ride. And suddenly, a guy comes in with a gun. And he's like, everybody fucking drop your shit on the bus like put it in the hallway or i'm gonna shoot you i'm gonna destroy you and i'm like well goodbye xbox goodbye school year goodbye everything i was like in high school so i put my stuff there and i crouch as the gentleman with the gun tells us to do and everything seemed to be going great for the robbery when the bus driver suddenly yells a mí nadie me falta el respeto en mi camión cabrón and i'm like what and I will translate this for you guys. It means nobody fucking disrespects me on my bus. So then shit got real. It's like... <laughs> I, I was thinking, damn, I am going to die because I decided to play Marvel vs. Capcom today. So I'm there, crouching, crying, about to die. And the bus driver keeps talking shit to the, to the guy with the gun. He's like, shoot me, motherfucker, shoot me. Orale, pendejo. And I'm like, damn. We're all dying here because if he shoots the bus driver, we're crashing and we're dying. And if he shoots us instead of the bus driver, we're still dying. So <laughs> I called it a day when wow. suddenly I crouch, I close my eyes and then he's like, I'm going to shoot. And he's like, shoot me. And the guy shoots. I saw him move his hand and then I just like peek like this. And the guy was looking at the gun like, what happened? What the hell is going on? And I was like, oh, shit. And then in less than a second, the bus driver just reaches out here and he pulls out a metal pipe and he hits the guy in the head and yells, Partanle su puta madre, fuck him up, everybody fuck him up. So you have all the bus beating the living shit out of this bleeding guy. <laughs> like the cholos were like, <sighs> like Mexican judo, you don't know what's going to happen, dude. And then the old ladies were like fucking hitting him with the bags, the Walmart bags, taking his shirt off for their son or something. Then I just came in and I just like did the doom hard kick like Tah! at the end. <laughs> and then I realized like, yo, he's not breathing. <laughs> so the bus driver said, well, we did it, guys. And we, the Cholos and I carried him and threw him into the next bus stop. Nobody said a word. And that's it. That's <laughs> the day I decided I would play Hagar because he had saved my life. Wow. That story is ridiculous, bro. I could hear that all day, man. It all all right, but there you go, guys. That is the story of why Esteban Wolf rocks some haggard. Wow, that was – I wish I could bump into a story like that. But, like, yeah, man, the reason why I picked Dante is this, such and such. No, man, I, I, don't, I don't got those cool stories. He saved my life, dude, driving the bus. <laughs> so, chat, what do you guys think? 
You know what? I, 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 there's a 10 for 10. You got a 10 for 10 from a couple of people. <laughs> Respect the pipe. Look, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Respect the pipe. Like, I thought, like, damn, this is some good politics. Am I a murderer? I do not think so because the guy was still breathing, like, sparely when we threw him out. So I'm confident he survived and learned a lesson. Self-defense. Self-defense. I would have done the same thing too, so.